I am going on a vacation in a couple weeks for about a week. We are going to my aunt and uncle's lake house up in North Carolina or over in North Carolina. Um, we do this about once a year and by the time you see this video I will be already back from vacation. And every year my brother, sister, and I like to do something to show our appreciation for them having us over. And this year I thought I would make them a little tabletop napkin and utensil and salt and pepper shaker holder. At least that's what the design intent is for. If they use it for something different, that's completely fine, but that's the goal. Um, we usually like to sit out on the patio and usually somebody forgets the salt and pepper and somebody forgets the napkin. So this is a little cubby that can be carried out. Just kind of sat out on the table during the day. But before I can start building it, I need to clear off the table. <laughs> I have just gone through and inspected all the parts. I've actually laid them out to do a flat lay picture that was a lot of fun it took basically all day but i'm really happy with the results i would say this is probably my first real attempt at trying to take a really good picture with my camera and i'm super excited with the way that the picture came out so you will see that on instagram a couple days after this video goes live because after that one i hope to have the video of this being built gone live so this is coming it's a work in progress. I promise I'll have a transmission video soon. But we're gonna get the time lapse set up and we're gonna move all this stuff onto the secondary table so that I can start building the little napkin cubby for my aunt and uncle. To start this project, I'm starting with dimensional number again from the home store. Again, we're using 3 8 inch thick by 6 inch by 36 inches. I think I'm gonna need two of these for the entire project. I have my plans out in front of me, and the first thing I need to do is rip one of these pieces down to four inches, and then cut two pieces that are nine inches long and two pieces that are six and seven eighth inches long. They don't have to be exactly those dimensions because I'll modify everything from here on out. So I've got the table saw set up for ripping at four inches and then I'll pull down the cross cut sled and cut everything to the right length.
Well, I probably should have done some of this a bit different than I did. Mainly, I probably should have made this piece by itself without being part of the box. Because um, the Forstner bit just really didn't do what I expected. I think I had it at an odd angle. The bandsaw did exactly as I expected, so I knew I had to sand that. But, um, yeah, that didn't really go the way I wanted it to. Um, had to spend a little bit more time on the sander than I thought I had to. I'm happy with the way it turned out. It has nice round edges on everything. Uh, this side will be where the napkin is, so when you reach in and grab a napkin, you're not rubbing on any sharp wooden edges. <clears throat> so now I need to build the dividers in the center. Um, so it's going to have one part in the middle that has a handle, and then two that come across. So you have two pockets on one side, napkins on the other side, and then salt and pepper shaker on this side. This time I am going to do it a little bit different since the handle it has a hole in it and has a rounded edge. I still have my sander out, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that two inch strip. I'm going to drill the hole and then I'm going to finish sanding it and then I'll make the dividers and glue all that together. So with the handle done, the last thing to make are the dividers that go on the side of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut it to length so it fits inside the box. And then I'm going to make two dados that the handle slide into. And to do that, I'm just going to use the single blade on the table saw again. And I'm going to do symmetric cuts. So it'll be offset and when I cut it, it'll make it wider and wider. And I'll creep up onto the width of this piece of wood. So let's get to that and then we can glue it all up and let it dry and then put a finish on it. guys you are gonna love this i am back from vacation i had an amazing time and when i was on vacation i had one thing on my to-do list and that one thing was to take beauty pictures of the napkin holder with the napkins and the silverware and the salt and pepper shaker in it outside on the porch and i didn't do it 
and I don't have any other pictures other than one of it sitting on my workbench after I was done. So we're going to have to end the video here. Um, I'll show you what the end result looks like on my desk and that's about it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed coming along on this build. I hope it inspired you to do something, create something. You know, that's it guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.